The Super Cap Novices Chase is next in. It's a three and a quarter more Novices Chase. The top one is Anglo Saxon for Paul Rhodes. Deacon Blues, Derek Hinton, Hope Springs Eternal, Joshua Sutherland, Muggs Muddy, John Morgan, Alpi Cat, Darren Thompson, Bafoos, Alex Cherry, Kentucky Fried, Leon Van Rensburg, Shadow Play, Daniel French, and Taverna for David Robertson. So just nine then, and away they go in the rain. Maybe a shortage of novice chases this season then. Just by the size of the field for this one. As they make their way past the winning post, they've got to come past another twice yet. And down to the first, and they're all over that one nicely, although Derek Hinton's Deacon Blues took a bit of a liberty with it and gave it a bit of a whacking. Got them safely to the other side. As they sort themselves out, they race down towards the second then. Closest to us, Alpi Cat. Little Darren Thompson. In the old shake, Mohammed Colors. Driven up on the inside of them, they were in the middle of those front three there. Shadow play in the purple jacket. That's Daniel French. Well, I think he's back this season after missing a season or so. He's got lots of different colours as well. Keep us on our toes. At the centre of the track there. And the leader now is Muggs Money in the familiar John Morgan pale blue with the yellow cap. Down to the third. And they're all nicely over that one as well with Joshua Sutherland's Hope Springs Eternal in the red and black hoops. Also now being driven up into the leading group, so there's just nine of them. We should be able to get a good mentioning for all of them quite a few times. Get towards the back Anglo Saxon for Paul Rose, just about the back marker. And rocking from side to side looking for the best a route. And towards number four then. Nicely with Anglo Saxon giving it a bit of a wallop at the back. They are novices, these, and one or two jumps have been somewhat novicey so far. They take number five, and they're all over that one. Okay, spread right across the track. Everybody got plenty of racing room, and Muggs Money it is by about three to Hope Springs Eternal in second. And it's just out jumped there by Leon's Kentucky Fried. That's a dark blue with a yellow cap. So the third horse with a yellow cap, that's David Robertson, that's Taverna, Taverna, depending where you come from, and they're also for the other that one with Shadow Play, and they've been really getting to the back for Daniel French, oh, if Daniel French is a Rory Gallagher fan, anyway, Muxman is in the lead, two lengths clear, of Kentucky Fried in second, and Hope Springs Eternal third as they take that ditch, and they'll over that one okay, although Anglo-Saxon was a little bit untidy, uh, Muggs Money is in front still. Taking them along at a seemingly sensible sort of pace. Still got the best part of two miles to go. And Muggs Money increasing the lead just a little bit there. Probably about four now. So you can took your fried on the inside of Hope Springs Eternal. So I take that one. Deacon Blues and Taverna together. And Alpi Cat. Anglo Saxon has moved forward a little bit. Shadow play in the purple jacket is next, and the back marker is now Bafoos in those distinctive Alex Cherry colours as they take this one. And Shadow play this time was the one that was down on his nose. Still got the jockey in the plate as we pass the deserted stand. It must be a social distancing day today. And everybody's just sheltering from the rain. Mugs Money is in the lead. Skips over that one nicely. Still getting well strung out now. Still got a circuit to go, and Muggs Money is in the lead by about three. Two Hope Springs Eternal in second. Then a gap of a couple of lengths to Kentucky Fried. Taverna is just tucked in behind that one. Then Anglo Saxon getting a bit closer. Deacon Blues and Alpicat chasing, and Bafoos and Shadow Play are out of shot and just finding the pace a little bit hot now as they race downhill towards number 12, which is a ditch. And over that one they all go, and we see them all over it safely and jumping, jumping it nicely. If Muggs Money, the clear leader, chuck a little look round there, see who's behind. You can see the big guns are firing, aren't they? Behind, ready to pants as they take number 13. And it was Paul Rhodes' horse that made a bad mistake there, Anglo Saxon. So these three up the front, then John Morgan, Joshua Sutherland, and Leon Van Rensburg all had good starts to the season over the jumps. Josh not doing quite so well on the flat, but. 
Sean and Leon are. Grand Potter has been the surprise so far this season, hasn't he? With winners all over the shop. Mog's money in the lead. Hope Springs Eternal second, Kentucky Fry. Oh, and the leader made a dreadful mistake there. So too did the bat two. But the stuffing got right and knocked out of the leader there. Mog's money and he surrendered the lead to Hope Springs Eternal. Right through the top. Jockey did well to stay on board. Jumped that one much better. And I think it was Taverner who made the mistake that time. But one or two novice jumps in this. And Mug's money has now been driven back into the lead again as they take number 16. And all over that one, they all jumped in okay. With Mug's money in front. Hope Springs Eternal half a length down in second. Then Kentucky Fried in third. Deacon Blues is starting to run on. Then Anglo Saxon as they take the fourth from home. And they're all over that one. Okay, cameraman doing well to get all the jumps in, but it's Mugs Money by three quarters of a length to Hope Springs Eternal in second. Kentucky Fried is back in third. Anglo Saxon is fourth in Deacon Blues. And uh, Taverna making a move around the outside as they take the third last. That's the final ditch, and then all over that one, okay, as well. And it's Mugs Money in front by a length to Hope Springs Eternal in second. Kentucky Fried is back in third. Then comes Taverna in fourth, and Alpi Cat, Deacon Blues, and Anglo Saxon. They've still got two and a half furlongs to go, and they've still got two fences to take. But Mugs Money has gone for home now. Then Taverna is making good ground, but it's Mugs Money in the lead. Mugs Money then comes towards the final two fences with a lead of a couple of lengths over the second last. Jumps it nicely, mistake by. Hope Springs Eternal, that could put pay to that one's chances. Now Kentucky Fry gets a second wind on the outside as Taverna hits the wall and it's Mugs Money in the lead. Mugs Money, Jockey has another look over his shoulder at the final fence, pops over it nicely. Kentucky Fry is trying to close, Shadow Play has been pulled up by the back, but Mugs Money is racing up towards the line. This is going to be another one for John Morgan. And uh, Mugs Money takes it pretty comfortably in the end from Kentucky Fry in second, Hope Springs Eternal is third, then Deacon Blues and Taverna or Taverna then. Anglo Saxon, I'll be getting finally Buffoon's shadow play pulling up in the home straight. And it's another win for John Morgan. And another one of John's that did his best to get rid of the jockey a couple of times as well. And that's the joy of this jump race, isn't it? That you can still get a horse that good, but it's not guaranteed to get round. So Mugs Money then, pretty impressive win. Kentucky Fried second for Leon Van Rensburg, Hope Springs Eternal, Joshua Sutherland third, Deacon Blues, Derek Hinton fourth, and Taverner for David Robertson was fifth.